It's today's variety, 101.9, The Mix, McCabe and Jenny, and now joined by singer, songwriter, super producer, Charlie Puth. How are you? I'm good. 101.9. This is off topic, but there used to be, I know we're in Chicago, but there used to be a station. It's no longer the station. There was a station in New York called Smooth Jazz, CD 101.9. And they had this, this, this jingle that you guys should now take because they're not in existence anymore, but smooth jazz cd 101.5 very <laughs> nice it was it was it was so mm. only so if we can you. have you sing it for us yes we'll work on something for you <laughs> so you know i saw like 15 minutes ago you were on ig live sharing mm -hmm. some music um is yeah, that yeah. is that new music we can expect that is new music we were so i was what i was working on something because i like to involve people in every step of the process the beginning of this one that we're working on, and, and again, no one will ever notice this crap except me, but it got cut off in the very beginning. So instead of- I heard you talking about that, yeah. It, it, instead of it going, da, 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 it was, da, da, da. you know, you're, when, you're, when, you, when you throw it in the, uh, the, the mixing thing, you know, they put a little splice on it in the beginning, and I was just like, I was hoping that they would take it off so it would sound, did they fix it? <laughs> No, still not yet. They're going to fix it, though. It sounds good. There you go. I heard one with some one song I'm guessing is either called Loser or yeah. Lose Her. I don't know if it's. Oh, same, yeah, same, so, yeah. See, same, same word. The, yeah. What is that called? Uh, I'm you know, the play on, I yeah. play our words. Lose her, loser. It's yeah, it was a, great. It's a, it, you're genius. Genius. You're, and, very, you're nice. Thank you. Charlie, I saw that you specifically post to TikTok and like IG rules and include people in your creative process, but you also said you were doing it so people know that you're working. Why is that? Like, <laughs> Because I think I was gone for a really long time and I think there were some rumors circulating that I had just quit music. And um, now, by the way, people are very aware that I'm working. They see my face on their phones maybe too much. So I'm working <laughs> loud and clear. <laughs> you know, you started working, I mean, a long time ago. You had your debut album back in 2016. How yeah. do you think you have developed and changed as an artist and grown since then to now your third album? Um, well, for me, it's a big deal. I, I, maybe considered to be a cliche statement said by most artists that this is my most personal work but there were times where i was putting a front on and kind of making up this personality uh in the very beginning of my career when it came to making music where of course now my music, I don't want to say it seems to be the most popular it's ever been, but I think it's the most relatable it's ever been because I'm not putting that personality front up. I'm just being myself and putting some beats and melody to it, if that makes sense. Now, you are in front of the scenes, too, of your own music, which you people don't realize that you are behind so many of the songs they know and love and hear on the radio. How has that transition been from being behind the scenes to now being the talent, the singer, you know? Um, I, I, I love these songs equally. I love Stay. I do the same. Just as much as Light Switch and records that are, um, uh, for me, I kind of look at, these things in the same way and you never I, I i just treat every songwriting session as a chance to make music that's why i never preface anything with okay this is going to be for me because i you know that's what what you're going to hear um coming from calvin harris this friday i had no idea that i would be singing on the song i thought we were just going to make a beat and now it's the song that's coming out on friday so you never know if you if you put less pressure on things that they just happen uh naturally well you're staying on top of everything in pop culture and music right now and you know i love how you just belt out melodies i remember talking to you back a couple years ago uh when voice notes came out do you still yeah. use your phone as a method to here create everything and remind I yourself about, i was just about to be like here it is and i ripped the charger out i just <laughs> get one of those longer i feel like the longer chargers are hard to come come by nowadays um yeah i still approach i was actually going to call this album voice notes too but it felt a little bit more appropriate leaving voice notes that rmb like album as its own thing 
and mm-hmm. having this one as its own separate thing. But I still approach every song the same way. Now, I was watching a TikTok that you made with Jungkook about how you kind of created left and right. When you co-write or produce songs, are you looking for an artist to fit what you are envisioning or is it vice versa? Like, how did you choose Jungkook of anyone? It's a good question. I usually make the song first and then after living with it for a couple of weeks or a month, then I start to hear other people singing it and... I did that with left and right where I actually was singing the second verse and I thought this needs some uh, depth to it. And how do you add depth to something? You uh, get another singer's perspective um, because each singer will tell a story with their voice. And when I put his uh, vocal on the second verse, you know, it was recorded in South Korea. He's, you know, maybe can relate to the song. I have, I I don't know, but you can kind of, hear his story when he sings it and he made it very special and just added a little bit more excitement i, I love collaborations why I, I would put a hundred people on a song uh we are the world style if i could i probably will i think you probably will you have the uh-huh. talent you know for it and you know from that did it did that melody come from a dream it did just popped uh i i i wanted to <clears throat> make a song that uh, had the vocals going from the left speaker to the right speaker and lyrically would be talking about that as well. I could feel you over here on the left and to the right. And then when I had the concept in my head, then I woke up and heard the all drawn out like that. Wow, I wish I had dreams that could write a song. <laughs> Mine are quite different. <laughs> but... I wish I had dreams. Like, oh, I know. Yeah. That's my favorite part of the song, though, that when I first heard it, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's it doing? <laughs> I think kind of uh, it's like ASMR, but it tickles your brain. I don't know if I've ever heard a song like that before. So I'm happy it's mine. Right. Um, and speaking of your impressive collabs, who's still on your dream bucket list of who you want to work with? Eminem. I would... Ah, I just I, and the only reason why I bring M up is that I was listening to the Marshall Matters LP the other day. I just would love to do something like as in producing, or you like you sing on a track and he raps. I don't on have a to track. sing. I just love to be a part of something. I don't have to be on the song with him, although that would be great. Um, that's I'm putting that out into the universe. You guys can help me do that. <laughs> well, uh, let's talk about your third album. Uh, comes out in October. When did you start the process? And I know you have included your fans along the way to help you with it. I'd say I started, really started the process September 2021. Uh, That's when the light switch TikTok came out. And I discovered a, uh, I guess, a new way to accomplish getting these songs done by involving people in every step of the process. And we're going to expect your most personal work, you said. Yes. Is that kind of the future of how you want your music to be <laughs> is more about you or are you just up for whatever? I, w- I would think I, I, I would like to always uh, share my process with people. What uh, outlet that's going to be on is kind of up to the future. I don't know what the next TikTok or whatever is going to be, but I'll always in general, just overshare. Okay. And you know, the instruments I always see behind you, do you use all of those for your songs? <laughs> uh, er, yes. Do they I all do. have a purpose? They all have a purpose. I think the one I use the least amount is this little organ over here, though. It's more of kind of a gag instrument. It doesn't really sound good on anything. I just like <laughs> it. it looks and cool. are you still producing at home, at your house, yeah. in, in your room? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> nice, no. and, nice and gray no it looks great all right so with the album in october can we expect like a fall tour to follow afterwards yeah we're gonna let you guys know very soon about that we obviously want to let uh you know first and uh so yes the answer is yes yay looking forward to it i think the first time i saw you perform it was you and a piano and it was during miss universe i don't know if you remember that Holy crap. Yeah. You sing one I, call uh, away. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. That night, because you remember what happened that night is when yeah. Steve Harvey said the wrong winner. Crowned oh. the wrong girl, and Charlie was there. 
<laughs> not only was Charlie there, Charlie was escaping the chaos. <laughs> so that Me was a too. really that was a really insane uh, start to the career. <laughs> Well, we look forward to where it's going. Uh, Charlie, thank you so much for taking the time to talk That's today. right. We look forward to where it's going. No more <laughs> Miss Universe pageants. No, no more girls competing against other girls. <laughs> Only tours. <laughs> That's right. We appreciate you uh, taking the time to talk with uh, 101.9 The Mix. I love you. I love 101.9 The Mix. You guys are great. I, it's dawning on me how long I've known <laughs> <laughs> both of y'all so are you gonna get your liner right this time i remember you tried to do the morning mix and you kept messing it up <laughs> i think i was overtired i will we'll, we'll get you a good liner okay awesome thank you so much charlie all right guys thank, thank you, you. Bye. see you later